main message is that there is, appears to be an association with frequent leg movement and we need to be asking more frequently about sleep disturbance as a whole in our patients with cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, sleep apnea uh, related symptoms or a restless leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome is a clinical diagnosis where there are four criteria that have been established where uh, there is an increased urge to move with uh, abnormal sensation that's criteria one. Criteria two is that the symptoms are worse during inactivity or at rest. The third criteria is that there is partial relief of symptoms with activity. And there appears to be a circadian rhythm with more severe symptoms in the evening than in the morning. What we don't understand at this point is whether uh, treating restless leg syndrome, and there are effective medications that are available to treat this condition whether it will have any impact on cardiovascular morbidity, particularly with ventricular hypertrophy. And this is an area that needs to be, uh, we need to get more information and data on this.